Yeah, I think it's so interesting to, to hear from all different generations who have gone through the same building and who have lived their, you know, a really important time in their life, their adolescence, and the forming of who they are as a person was in Perm. And I'm excited to hear what the common thread is between everyone. Hello Yellow Jackets all around the world and welcome to a centennial storytelling celebration of Perm High School. 100 years, incredible. Hi there, I'm Corey Heppola. I've spent my career working in television, but more importantly, I'm a proud Perm High School alum, class of 2000. Well, I'm gonna be your host for this. I'm honored to be your host, more of like a tour guide of sorts through this amazing 100 year journey of Perm High School. Arts, academics, athletics, Okay, it's, that's a lot of words. We're, we're basically, I'm gonna be your Yellow Jacket chief storyteller. The 1980s, 90s, right on up to our 100th year, 2017, these were star-spangled times to be a student at Perm High School. In the world around us, in the 80s, our nation watched a group of college kids, mostly from Minnesota, bring home the golden hockey and what has now famously become the miracle on ice. Ronald Reagan, a couple of Bushes, a Clinton, and an Obama were elected presidents. And on September 11th, 2001, our nation was hit with the worst terrorist attack ever on U.S. soil. Closer to home, our Minnesota Twins won two World Series championships, and Perm Athletics were making yearly runs to state high school tournaments in most all boys and girls sports. Of course, we're a school of champions in athletics, but we're much more than that, champions in academics and the arts. Yes, the 80s, 90s, 2000s, my era and today. I had a number of amazing teachers. We have great teachers here, as well as coaches. And teachers and coaches here, a number of them were my mentors. You know, they kind of guided me in the right direction, gave me sound advice, and I knew they were telling me things for me to do to be successful in life. You know, I, I think people prepared me, you know, and what's fun about my my situation coming full circle and coming back and still being able to connect with those same people that um, probably made me a little better then might make me a little better now more than anything and um, and so so there's there's the mentor piece uh, whether they know it or not you know I think uh, I've had mentors in my life that have, have made a difference and so it maybe wasn't as much of a um, as a as a history book uh, which is important, but it, maybe it was more about the person. And amazingly, I guess, you know, I have great memories of athletics, but also of, of some of the arts and, and definitely with academics. The arts that we have around here is, is just amazing to me, and that's actually just gotten better and better over the years, too. So, I never thought I would be back in Perm teaching. Everything happens for a reason, and I really think that it was sort of meant for me to come back and and take over this program that sort of inspired me to teach in the first place. And it's been really neat to be able to um, sort of inherit that from someone I respect so much and then, you know, continue the legacy of the things that he started. So I think we have an obligation to teach kids about perseverance. We have an obligation to teach kids about respect. We have an obligation to teach kids about commitment to each other, to other humans. And the best place in the world to do it, I think, is a small town. Establishing roots uh, are so important, I think, to the development of who we are as a human. And in a small town, I think you can show kids that this is home. These are our roots. And we have an obligation and, and, uh, and an opportunity to say this is going to be great. We can be great. My family um, actually is all my dad had seven brothers and sisters. And before that, his dad was um, in the Hall of Fame here. And so we just have a long, you know, and I'm not the only family, I don't think the Schmitzes are the only family that was like that. I think a lot of people that go to school here, I think a lot of them have that extended family history of Perm and that's really, that's really exciting to see. I remember just having a lot of dynamic personalities around me and caring teachers and coaches. For me especially, I look back at a lot of memories of participating in so many different events. I'm known as an athlete, but I have a lot of fond memories of things like student council and choir and just I remember feeling very fulfilled in the fact that I could participate in so many different activities that I think was unique to a small town experience. Do I think I'm a better person because of Purim? Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, 
I think that, that Purim helped make me the person that I am, so I, I don't have any choice but to be tied to it and in the best way possible. So uh, again, it's, it's the people around me that have been positive influences in my life and helped me, you know, it helped steer me in the right direction and find what I love that has made me who I am. When you had asked me about the project, I was all in. I couldn't wait, and I think the big reason for that is because I have such a, a pride from you know, being from Perm, my desire was when I got older, I'm going to give back. And that's the place where I want to do it is, is my hometown because all of those people, all of those teachers, everyone supported me for so long and kept a genuine interest in how I was doing then after high school. It's a, it's a special place.